this is my my pool i'm gonna be spending some time out here you know something about this place the air like the smell like the energy like uh asia has its own I, I can't explain it but if you've been here you know what i'm talking about like you know you're here like uh it's different than the United States. It's a lot different. There's a bar out here. Well, I'm gonna come out here and have me a drink later. Maybe get me a cold beer. Yeah, there's a bar out here. He's already open. I got a little waterfall, grass area. Maybe I'll come out here and read. I got I got two books, two books to read. I might come out here, get some sun and do some reading. Probably get my butt in that water. It's also humid here. Like that's another thing that that's another thing that reminds me of being in Asia is uh the humidity you definitely feel it it's not uncomfortable but it's the air is like so thick it's got that tropical jungle type of uh humidity i mean look at this lush plants pineapple trees and yeah just everything thrives in this type of environment vegetation just goes nuts yeah <clears throat> so yeah, coconut. Is that coconut? It looks like a coconut tree. Or maybe, no, that's something else. I don't know what that is. But there's definitely coconut trees out here somewhere. I've seen a couple. <clears throat> yeah, this looks pretty cool. Looks like a good place to dip. Get out of the heat. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is going to work for me. Oh, yeah, I can see myself sitting around here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they got a little kiddie pool. A kiddie pool. So, yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Got a couple of bridges. Walk across. <laughs> yeah, I'm up there somewhere. I don't know where the heck I am. I'm on the 12th floor. Somewhere up there. But one thing about the Philippines, too, you got like, you know, there's extreme poverty here, and of course I've seen it. Of course, not surprised at all, because I know how it is, and I've seen extreme poverty before, but you know, you got extreme poverty, you got extreme wealth, and everything in between, but a lot of people here are poor, and that was pretty evident driving here last night. Yeah, this is a pretty neat pool. I really like this. I'm looking for a seat. Oh, yeah, in the middle thing. Yeah, you can sit down. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Where can I sit in there? Yeah, there we go. There's a big, huge bench. Bench that you can sit on. So, yeah, over here, too. Okay, I didn't even notice this. Okay, yeah, it probably doesn't show up on the camera. But, um, yeah. Yeah, one of these chairs looks awesome. Or any of these chairs look awesome. That water looks warm. It probably is warm. Yeah, I could probably be in the 90s every day I'm here. <clears throat> probably 90 degrees every single day. So I only slept three hours last night. Um, I'm wide awake. I don't know. I just, uh, I feel like I slept forever too. I went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 5 before my alarm. I set my alarm for 6.30. And I got up and I finished unpacking and took myself a nice long shower and shave and got cleaned up. Yeah, when I got off that plane last night, the only thing I want to do is clean my teeth and <laughs> and uh, take a shower. Oh, God. But it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't that bad at all. Traveling. Yeah, we got the bar out here. We'll have to come visit this guy. Let's see what he's got. Yeah. Happy hour. Two for one. Oh, here we go. 4 to 8 p.m. Two for one. Maybe I'll come back here later. Yeah, if I'm not out in town somewhere. All right, let me head up to my room. I'm going to do a little bit of bookkeeping and uh, check my portfolio and do my morning routine. And then I'm going to hook up with my friends at some point in the day. All right, there was the blue. There was the uh, pool at the Radisson Blue.